made it to Winding Stair Campground. Um, my goal was actually to get to the shelter at the top of Winding Stairs, but I am exhausted. <laughs> no, stop. You stay. Let's just relax for a little bit, huh? Newt rolled in something dead, so that's awesome. He smells wonderful. Um, the section between Rock Garden Shelter and Holson Valley Shelter is just brutal. It's, it's not fun at all. And I knew this coming into it because that's the section that I did when I sprained my ankle. But it was... I I'd, I'd never want to do it again. And honestly, if this was, like, if I had today as my, like, day, my first day of backpacking, I would never do it again. It was just terrible. Um, so I just threw my tent up, um, sitting on my butt right now. It was a miserable day, and I'm glad to be done with it. Um, I really hope tomorrow will be better, because <laughs> I'm just miserable right now. But anyways, we're just going to relax. It's... 4.30. Gonna relax, cook some food. Newt's already... Newt's already sneezing. I might join him. I don't know. Anyways, we'll talk to you later. Good morning, day three. Oh. I'm already pooped. Newt found a stick. <laughs> so, we stayed at uh, Winding Stair um, Campground. Last night, I got down to, Jeez almighty, I got down to um, 40s last night, so I was pretty cold. Even Newt let me cover him up with my jacket, so um, obviously you can tell he's ready to go this morning. Yesterday sucked, but today's a new day, and it's sunny, so there you go. We're going to start this ridiculous climb up winding stairs now. Okay, let's go. halfway up the first switchback. It came from down there. We're going there. I'm exhausted already. Exhausted. My legs are sore. Um, my back was a little sore sleeping last night. I found that it hurt more to sleep on my back than my side. So, moved around a lot. Do you find another stick? <laughs> I moved around a lot, trying to get comfortable. and um, But other than that, my back actually feels good. I do stretches in the morning. Don't hit me with that. <clears throat> but I have a blister on the bottom of my left foot. So that sucks. Surprised I don't have bruises on the back of my legs from Newt passing me with big sticks and whapping me. Hey, well, I think we made it to the top. There's a lot of grass here up here. I have to use my phone now because my, apparently my SD card on my little DJI is full. And I didn't bring the little, Newt, get out of there. What are you doing? I didn't bring the little thing so I could download them to my phone because I'm smart like that. So anyways, we use my phone from now on. So you can see the sun is out finally. Feels good. Yesterday was a nice day of hiking weather-wise, which with the crap that we had to go through and how miserable of a day it was, I'm glad that it was cooler and I wasn't sweating my butt off. So we're only like a mile and a half in, but um, it stopped at this pretty view. 
Minute to eat in a salad over there. Um, to put some shorts on because the sun is out and it's gonna get a little warm. So I don't want pants. But anyways, I brought Newt's tennis ball so he could play with it. But also, um, so I could use it to roll out my muscles and my IT band on my right leg is tightening up a little bit and I can feel it in my knee. So I stopped to roll on this a little bit before it gets too bad. And it's a pretty view, so it works. All right, and I think we turned on switchback number like 500 of a thousand coming down winding staircase. <laughs> Uh, I don't actually know how many switchbacks there are. There's a lot though. And my knee doesn't hurt so bad when we're going up or level, but going down hurts a bit. I need to do a better job of rolling my IT band out on the tennis ball. Anyways, Newt's still having a blast. Um, keep going back and forth between having his booties on, taking them off, trying to build up his paw pads um but i'm trying to listen to him I, i'm watching him making sure he doesn't limp or anything and every couple miles i'm checking his paw pads and he had them on when we were on the really rocky stuff um i just took him off again because he stopped and he was kind of chewing at it so i was like all right well he wants them off i'm trying to listen to him as much as i can um but on a positive note i can squat down to put them on and take them off of him with my pack on and I don't fall over. So, we're getting better. <laughs> We made it to Big Cedar. I'm not excited about it. Let me show you why. Not excited at all. Woo! All right, we made it across. Um, Cedar Creek, wasn't looking forward to it. Um, it's high, it's fast. Normally, um, you can walk right across it where the trail crosses. Uh, that's down there. We came up here probably about 200 yards and found a spot that was um, only about knee deep. Um, it was still moving fast though, so I took two trips, took my bag across, and then came back and got Newt and carried him across. We both got a little wet, but we're on the other side. So, all right, there we go. We're out of here. Big Cedar Trailhead, um, where I passed, FYI. Was that where you're supposed to cross? Um, <laughs> I did not see that the trail followed the river for a while. And so we had to bushwhack once we got across the river. So that kind of sucked, but we made it. I have some battle wounds. We're alive. Anyways, we're about to cross the road. Uh, we're gonna get to Pashubi shelter. It's like three miles, I think. Uh, see how we feel. And then we might move on from there to another spot, tent site. We might stay there, I don't know. We'll see how we feel. Oh my. Okay, we're doing the last climb of the day. We stopped at the Pashubi shelter and ate supper. Newt did too, he took a nap. Um, and then we were pushing on another, just under two miles to the next tent site. And it's all uphill. It's a mile of uphill. And that's only like half the uphill that we have to do for this next climb. So we'll start tomorrow morning doing the rest of the climb. But anyways, it's 20 till five. Newt's been doing awesome. We took a lot of breaks. Um, his paws are doing a lot better today, but we weren't as on as many rocks today either. So he only wore his booties for about, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, maybe 30, who knows. But taking a break in the middle of this climb. 
It's a doozy. Let me show you. 